I had to face the reality that that my dreams may not come true. I used to be a Superman once. I went across oceans and mountains and deserts and jungles. And I saw people just fall behind. You know, and I was wondering, you know, how... Not how strong I am, but how weak everybody else actually was. You know, they would suffer diarrhea and thirst and hunger and all this kind of shit. I would just keep on going. And now, I am among the most weakest of beings on the planet. When I found out I had cancer that day, I wasn't shocked, I was angry. And I was angry because I didn't do enough. Not that I was fucking around, but I had dreams. And I decided right then and there that my relationship with God was going to change completely. I was going to become despondent. If I'm a fucking cockroach, then fucking step on me. And if you don't, then leave me alone. I got shit to do now. When I designed this machine, it wasn't designed as a wind turbine. It was designed as a flying machine. What compelled me to try this was reading Leonardo's notes on the subject. It made me realize, on reading Da Vinci, as he writes about his flying machine, I'm getting the feeling that he's teasing me. So, as an intellectual challenge, just for the fun of it, I decided that I'm going to show him what a real flying machine would look like. And that was the end of the story. You know, I enjoyed myself and I put all my toys away. When I was storing the machine, I put it next to the window and I stood it upright, that it's opposite the way it's supposed to be. And as my window was open, a gust of wind came in, the machine started turning. <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden, something that I made as a toy acquired the possibility of being a turbine. So after learning all of this, I realized that this machine has uh, better practical applications than the lift systems. Not that this machine can compete in its own territory, right? But this machine can go where the other one can't. This machine can go into small villages, right? One of my machine can power, can power uh, let's say 10, 20 houses in a village, right? And make the village independent. You're talking electrical power? Yeah. Or, or water. Uh, 
you know, a lot of artists perhaps are, are, are not uh, appreciated, you know, for everything they do. Leonardo was appreciated for most of what he did, I think. Uh, we recognize him as being a genius. I think Moreau has certain genius qualities. Um, this idea is one of them. I, I think it, this is this is you know offered uh, Moreau an, an opportunity to uh, push this thing to uh, to a global scale. If this thing does work, its value will be in the fact that the machine is small but powerful. This machine is not a Swiss watch. This is a very simple <clears throat> machine, which means that once it's established in a community and the machine breaks down, the teenagers of the village can repair it with bamboo and banana leaves. That's the way I'm thinking yeah, about yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, just literally no, like, no, no, you know, no. like I don't, the components you can find in a hardware store. That's exactly what anywhere. you want, yeah, for this model. For sure. Yes, death. I, I was now faced with a whole new reality that I had no experience with. I wasn't suffering yet, but obviously my body was dying. I decided that I'm going to invite death into that darkness and have a discussion, right? I explained to death that I have some dreams that I want to fulfill and that their fulfillment shall be a gift to him. And he said, well, for what? I said, well, all I want from you is just a handful of sand. Let me be clear about this. I didn't want life. I already knew I lost my life. I just wanted time. It takes a lot of fucking willpower. To live when you're supposed to be dead. That's a structure. Yeah. Look at this baby. Oh, she's a beauty. Huh? Tennis, come here. Come on, please don't. Oh, you're, so, you're a fucking genius. You, know, you haven't been if, here in a while, have you? No, because you won't let me. You know what? If, if, if we had a hundred men like you, we could build a fucking city on any planet. Oh, well, there you go. Seriously. There you go. I like guys like you. Anyways, That's we're a beauty. We're starting the structure. I think Moreau has a kind of Renaissance concept of you know a thinker or an artist, somebody who doesn't just paint, but also uh, puts form to ideas, and then comes up with completely new concepts. Is he a dreamer, you know, in ways, like I said, that most people would, wouldn't even begin to conceive of as far as dreaming. So, you know, I, that, I like that kind of dreaming. So it starts right up there? It's basically, when it's in the field, uh, the start of the sail is pretty much right here. Yeah. Do, does it tear, or does it no, bend? It's, 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 um, you, you've seen what the pop bottles are like. They're, they're impossible to really tear. OK, good. There's four main bearing points in this thing, yeah. and it's really to prevent this thing from getting into a right. spaghetti mode. Yeah, I, I understand. The shaft comes right through here. Right. And, right. and because from this point below, the shaft Oh, oh, oh. oh. You, how many changes have you made so far? Oh, god damn it. This is oh. a little stool. No, fuck the stool. Um, but now you have... The mechanism transfers oh. the, the lateral motion through the, the hollow shaft. And then there's the pain. Every morning, to speak metaphorically, I hear Satan dragging a white hot chain 
coming to me. Right? And it starts to... It starts to wake me up. And I wake up in pain. Every morning, I know exactly what I am now. <laughs> my kidneys are pretty much dead. My heart is, almost all of me is dead, actually. And I've come to believe that if my mind didn't find a way to face this death sentence, that maybe I might have been dead already. 